Okay guys, today we have got an amazing, amazing AFK farm for you guys. Now I know some of you guys will not want to do this and that is absolutely fine. I know people play these Souls games completely differently, although I have to put this out there just to give you guys the option. But if you guys are running low on runes or are struggling to be able to purchase specific armor sets or weapons or make upgrades to your character and it's stopping you from being able to take out specific bosses, this is always a very good way to do it. You're going to earn around 1,000 to one and a half thousand runes per time and this takes literally a couple of minutes with that being said let's get into this what's going on guys cloud plays here and welcome back to another video here on the channel today we are going to be looking at this afk farm which is probably the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen in my life and this is going to help you guys with upgrading and leveling up the attributes and making purchases for things as you go through the game now starting off you are going to want to go to this location right here you should have this unlocked quite early on in the game if not it's very easy to get to you don't have to fight anybody once you're at storm hill you're going to want to go directly forward and you're going to want to make your way up the hill you could take the path round to the left but we're going to take the dirt track to the right and work our way down as you work your way down you will notice that eventually you do get to a bridge and on that bridge there is going to be a nice old lady making sure that you go and have a little chat with that old lady the finger lady she really really likes fingers it's a little bit weird if you want my honest opinion and then running down to the bottom of the bridge once you jump down from that bridge you want to take the first left and that first left is going to take you through to a small canyon that will make you able to make your way round the first boss that you are meant to come up against this is going to complete completely help you skip this bit and you're going to be able to make your way through to the next part which is this area here and you're going to find a grace straight Go and find a grace straight off the bat. Now, once you do get that grace, you're going to want to make your way down the dirt track and make sure you follow the dirt track all the way down. Following that dirt track all the way down is going to take you to the location where we are going to be doing the AFK farm. Or if you do want to get involved and just make it an actual farm, then you can do. Follow the dirt track all the way down through this small canyon and through the gap in here. If you carry on going all the way through, eventually you will get to this location here where you'll find another grace that you guys can activate. Run all the way down and run forward past the small ghost and you will notice that there is a big battle going on between the ghosts and some other enemies. You don't want to get involved with that because they are relatively higher level, especially the big boss that comes up. And you just want to kind of try and stay out of the way, but close enough so that you can see what is going on. By doing this, you are actually going to notice that there is going to be runes just pinging up at you as they get taken out. The odd one or two may come over if you get a bit too close, but that's not going to harm you too much at all. And you are just going to have runes completely rinse over as this giant ghost beast is just taking everything out it's mental then once you've done that you can go on through you can go and collect all of the loot that is dropped sometimes in runs there'll be quite a bit you'll find some armor in there i've actually managed to pull a helmet out so far some throwing knives a load of different materials and it's going to be really really easy for you guys just to go and collect that run back up to the grace and you guys are going to just want to pass time till the morning this is going to make it so that everything resets and then you can just rinse and repeat and if you want to you can use those runes to level up your character and give attributes to faith like i did or to strength like i did as well and you guys can process all of these runes really really easy and rinse and repeat now when you're doing this obviously it is going to be a bit difficult if you want to get involved a little bit you will get taken out quite frequently if you do try and get involved although don't panic too much because you're so close to the grace you are going to be able to run down and recollect your runes that you've lost anyway so this is just a really really good process now i wasn't the original founder to this one i have to give a shout out for the original founder of this so massive shout out to swanny plays games that is where he found the location for this and this is just an absolutely amazing run through on how this all works now i'm going to do a couple of runs for the rest of the video and you guys are going to be able to check it out and just see exactly what it does and how it works but this is probably the easiest thing that i've ever seen that i've never seen anything so easy in my life and i know a lot of you guys who really enjoy the souls games will not want to do this and that is absolutely fine but for those of you guys who are struggling to take out those bosses 
bosses and need that little bit of extra help, maybe you're new to the Souls genre, this is going to be the way around it for you. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, smash the beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. Thank you so much again for all of your support here in the Elden Ring content. It's been tremendous. But as always, up until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds.